Welcome back, Stingers. I wanted to talk about this uh, this topic about being confident and how it triggers others because, you know, I've noticed this way back when I was younger and I talk about this heavily in my book, I'm Not Crazy, a Scorpio's Guide to Embracing the Dark Side. And I talk about this in um, Rise from the Ashes, right? And so there's something about having a confidence and knowing that you are worthy and you're good enough that I don't know it just does something to other people it kind of causes them to question themselves and I do inherently believe that most of us are good like we don't want to shut other people down we don't want to diminish anyone but it just depends on what's in your subconscious you know um our subconscious holds so many negative traits from when we were, we were younger. We've built up walls. We've built up defense mechanisms. We have um, certain reactions to things that trigger us. And depending on who you're around, some of those things may bleed into your relationships. You may be perfectly fine, you know, feeling confident around someone and maybe around somebody else their energy just causes you to feel a certain amount of insecurity so i've noticed that like when you're when you're really sure about yourself it disturbs other people <laughs> it just it disturbs them and then they come after you they want to call you narcissist which we talked about and i'm not crazy that overused term and they want to call you I don't know there's so many other things back in my day in the 90s and the 80s it used to be conceited there's so many different things that they use to try to break that down like let me dismantle that a little bit and um a lot of men do this in relationships with very beautiful women they want to neg them in the pickup artist community they call it negging you know when they say negative things about you to destroy your self-esteem so that you can feel inferior and 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 feel like you're not good enough so that they have control <laughs> i i love a good neck though i love a good neck i love i love when people get into my comment section and they call me unattractive this doesn't happen often i i kid you not i've been on youtube what 10 years and it's happened maybe i i would say three to five times in 10 years literally and why is it a joke to me? It's hilarious. Number one, just my presence. And this is men and women who do it, guys. But just my just my presence, the way I come on and I own my space, which I've been doing more and more. Obviously, when I first started, we weren't like that, honey. <laughs> and you guys have been watching me for a while. You see the transformation. I have Pluto in my first house, by the way. And it takes Pluto 256 years to come full circle, honey. So Pluto been squ squatting. Pluto's going to be there. And what does that mean? That means self-transformation, okay? So I've been evolving. We've been breaking down and rebuilding. We're going to continue that. People, I love it when they call, when they attack like my looks because I've been paid for my looks. You guys know that I'm, I've, I've been in the model game for a year and a half, but I'm going back next year. Um, at the time of this video, I still have my braces on, my clear braces, and we're getting those off hopefully next week <laughs> and um and then i'm going on a spiritual journey then i'll be back and i'll be in model condition and ready and uh to piss some more people off <laughs> making more money off my looks and so it's hilarious for some random person to try and nag me and try and break me down and tell me that i'm unattractive when the world has proven the opposite so that's why number one it's funny um and also it's hilarious because you you didn't build me up so you can't break me down you you guys understand and when i when i say that when i keep repeating that in my videos you know a lot of you guys are at the mercy of other people it might be your parents it might be a so-called best friend it might be someone whoever your mentor is and you've allowed them to be that individual where you get your self-esteem okay you are contingent upon whatever their response is to you. Your, your, your self-esteem is at their mercy. And so that's the person who builds you up. That person can 
can break you down emotionally because they're responsible for building you up. Now with me, and we talk about this in Rise from the Ashes, I've broken myself down so you can't do it. So when someone comes in and they say things that try and break down your confidence, you're ugly, you're not that good anyways, like the world has shown me different. So there's a, there's a, there's a discrepancy. <laughs> there's a discrepancy between your words and the world, right? There's a discrepancy. Um, and all the things I've accomplished is proof that what you're saying is incorrect. And this is why I say you have to prove to yourself over time. Prove it. Okay? And then you're like, live proof. Whatever you're talking about, I have all these awards. So clearly someone thinks a little different than you do. <laughs> right? And so the more confident you are, and we don't even have to go into material things, attaining things. Let's strip away the fact that I'm a model girl. Let's strip away the contracts or strip away the fact, any of the things that I've ever done solely based on my looks. Solely based on my looks. Let's, let's strip all that away and just say that I am a regular 40 whatever year old woman living in New York City. And someone comes in and says you're ugly. I'm like, well, I haven't heard that before. You know what I mean? So besides, let's strip away the material stuff. Besides that, it's like, well, really? Because you're the first person to say it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think when people say things continuously, then you're like, oh, okay. Like, if I've heard that my whole life, it's like, okay, I know I've heard that my whole life. But for me, it's obvious. It's like, what, what? Like, since when? <laughs> Did we just start? <laughs> and so... You know, when people come in and they and they see that you feel good about yourself, you stand tall and you have the confidence, like you've proven to yourself that you've done things, like you've overcome things, you've written that book, you've gotten that promotion, you've built your business, you've traveled the world, or you've gotten to a certain uh, point in your life where you have fulfilled your dreams, like you've proven that you can do it, you've overcome obstacles. You know what I mean? You've gotten through the tough times, you've gotten out of jail. You've, you've rebuilt your life. You, you were so down and you thought you couldn't make it and you've made it and you feel good about that. You're like something about me. I have the strength to keep going and someone comes in and they're going to try and tell you you're not worthy because in your presence, they don't feel good. Maybe they feel good any other time, but because you feel powerful, now they want to strip you down. And I find the more and more powerful I get, people want to seep through the cracks and they want to try me. And they're going to try you too. And some of you guys are going to cave because you're, you don't have your footing yet. But once you get it and you start soaring like the eagle, honey, none of this is going to matter. None of this is going to matter. So just know that the more powerful and confident you become, there are going to be people who are extremely uncomfortable with that. They, they're, you know, it makes them have to look at themselves and say, hmm, well, I don't feel that way. What, what? And instead of them working on themselves, putting the spotlight on themselves, they're like, well, let me see if I can pull her down a little bit so that I can feel equal. You guys understand me? Mm, watch out for that. Like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. I'll see you at ScorpioSunScorpioMoon.com where you can buy my audio and paperback books. And wherever you are, you can walk into your favorite bookstore um, and just ask for the Scorpio Sun Scorpio Moon collection and they'll get it for you. They'll get it for you. So my books are available everywhere now. You can definitely order them through your favorite bookshop and um, very excited for that. Um, also on my website, you can get my jewelry. You can shop all my Scorpio items. I have some amazing things in my shop, my masks, my teas, if there are any teas left. I don't know at this point. But you can definitely get jewelry uh, there as well, guys. And if you want to book a master chart reading with me, you can do that. Um, I tell you everything. We go over the personal planets, your superpowers, your challenges, your current matches. I give you exact birth dates and how to use your chart to your advantage. I also have a personal live stream session if you want a one-on-one -on -one with me and a new tarot card reading if you want to send in a text or a photograph of someone and get all the information that um, that comes out in the reading. That one is very exciting. I have exclusive videos and um, I'm on Instagram and I'm on Facebook guys. 
Uh, my shop will be closed for uh, the whole entire winter season. I will be on a spiritual journey. I'll keep updating you guys and I'll post it on my website, but feel free to continue to download all the digital material. You can definitely get my audiobooks, my um, crash courses, my MP3, my love spell, and all that good stuff. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Mwah. <laughs>